Adeline? Alina, you actually came. Wow, I was really not expecting it to be you. I was honestly half expecting it to be Victoria. She's actually who I wanted to talk to you about. Are you gonna tell me that she's trying to ruin my life? Because I kind of already got that impression. No, no, I assumed you already figured that out. I was just gonna say, if you want to avoid any more drama with Victoria, I would stay away from Tyler. That's what I was planning on doing after this whole mess. Knowing Victoria, this will eventually blow over and she'll honestly just forget that you even exist. Well, that's comforting. You don't seem like the drama type. How did you even know Victoria anyways? Well, my best friend from my old school is friends with her apparently. Oh, Elise? Yeah, that's her. I've never met her myself, but I've heard she's quite similar to Victoria. In some ways. I was surprised to find out that Victoria was super popular though. I guess Elise is just trying to look out for me. Well, she sounds like a good friend. Yeah, she is. Also, um, I just wanted to say that I'm on your side. What are you talking about? There are no sides. I thought I told you I didn't want to be involved in any more drama over this dumb popularity stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just, I just wanted you to know. Thanks, but why? Aren't you and Victoria, like, best friends? You could say that, but our friendship's very complicated. Oh, um, I'm sorry about that. Let's just say Victoria isn't as strong as she may appear. But anyways, I'm glad we had this talk. I really have to get going or my mom will literally kill me. See you around, Elena. Yeah, bye, Adeline. This just isn't adding up. Why would Adeline do that? And what did she mean? Victoria's not as strong as she appears. Something about this just isn't right. Maybe it was a setup by Victoria? No, no, that doesn't make any sense either. If it was, Adeline wouldn't have said all that stuff about her. Well, that means that she chose to talk to me and that also doesn't make any logical sense! <sighs> High school's too overdramatic for me. Why can't people just get their degrees and move on? Because then it wouldn't be the four worst years of your life. True. Wait, how long were you standing there? Long enough to see that you still haven't cleaned this mess of a room. I've had a lot of homework. Okay, just get it done tonight. We're having guests tomorrow. Wait, what? Remember, the family next door is coming over for dinner tomorrow. Oh, yeah, right. I mean it, Elena. This room better be clean before they get here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Good. Dinner will be ready in 20 minutes. Okay. Something about Adeline just isn't adding up. Especially her friendship with Victoria. And whatever it is, I'm gonna figure it out. What you working on? Math homework. I forgot to do it last night. Does that even go towards your grade? In Miss Oakley's class it does. Oh god, that sucks. Tell me about it. I already have so much homework from my two AP classes this semester. Oh my god, why would you ever do that to yourself? I didn't try to, it's just ugh, it's such a mess. Sounds like it. Class, class, quiet down, quiet down. I have to announce our first project of the year. Ugh, I hate projects. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Projects aren't your favorite things to do, but I decided I would do a little bit more of a fun one. So this is going to be a partner project, and you'll be working with the person right next to you. So for this project, you basically have to do a very in-depth, and I mean in-depth, analysis of a fairy tale character of your choosing. There is more information of the project on this sheet that I have up here. You may grab it. Other than that, just get to work. Thank God, I'm working with someone who will actually do some work. Yeah, so who should we do? Definitely Mulan. There's no way I'm doing some damsel in distress. Oh yeah, that'd probably be pretty cool. I'll go grab the sheets. Oh! 
Connor. Do you know where Liam is? Oh, Elena. Yeah, hey, I can't find Liam anywhere. Oh, um, yeah, that's because he changed schools. What? Yeah, yesterday was his last day. He switched to a school that specialized more in the performing arts. Oh, uh, th that's really great for him. Yeah, but I do miss not seeing him. Yeah, uh, I'm sure that's that's really hard. Yeah, but anyways, it was good seeing you again, Elena, but I should really be getting back to lunch. Um, I'll, I'll see you around. Oh, uh, yeah, bye. They're here, Elena. Coming. Oh, Kirsten, it's so good to see you again. Thank you so much for inviting us. Oh no, it's my pleasure, really. <sighs> well, thank you again. Sadly, Chase couldn't join us. He had some, you know, after-school sports, but Coden could make it. Oh, that's fine. We know how things are their age. Oh, this is my daughter, Elena. Hi. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, dear. I'm Regina, your neighbor, and Coden is... Ugh. Coden! Sorry, Mom. I was grabbing the cake. Oh, that's no problem. That's Elena and her mother, Kirsten. It's very nice to finally meet you, Coden, but I bet both of you are hungry, so let's go eat. Sounds good to me. Come on, Coden. Wow, Kirsten, you've really outdone yourself with this meal. Yeah, it was really good. So, Coden, I understand that your brother does sports. What about you? Oh, um, I'm really more of a winter sports kind of guy. I really like skiing and hockey. Oh, yes, of course. What about you, Elena? Do you do any sports? Oh, uh, no, but I do like skiing, too. Oh, well then maybe your family can join us up at our favorite chalet this winter. That does sound quite fun. Hopefully Roger will be back in time to go with us. When is he getting back from his business trip? Next week. Oh, well that's wonderful. Mom, I'm done. May I be excused? Sure, but take Coden with you so me and his mom can talk. Oh, um, okay. Come on. Okay. So this is my room. It's pretty nice. Thanks. So, what school do you go to? Appleton High. What about you? Same, but since I haven't seen you around, I'm assuming you're like a junior or something. <laughs> no, uh, I'm a senior actually, but I just prefer to keep to myself. Oh, so you're a loner? What? No, I, I just prefer not to talk to a lot of people. That's all. Okay, okay, but I get it. I don't really like the spotlight either. I prefer just to have a few friends and that's it. So you wanna be a loner? <laughs> good one, but I'm being serious. Being popular isn't as good as it looks. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yeah, that's because I am. Oh wait, let me guess, you're that stereotypical jock guy who, you know, has dated basically every single girl in the school and is probably failing like all of his classes. <laughs> Close, but that's more of my brother's thing. I'm more of that bad boy kind of guy. Well, then where's your leather jacket? My what? Your leather jacket. Every stereotypical bad boy has a leather jacket. Well, I don't have one. Looks like I'm not a stereotypical bad boy. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Stereotypes get boring after a while. So, have you met any pets at school? Yeah, I've met a few. Who, if you don't mind me asking? Well, there's this girl, Summer, I met in my English class. I talked to her a few times, and I met this other guy, Liam, and he was pretty nice, but other than that... Anyone else? No one else who's worth mentioning. So, Victoria. You've got it. Yeah, I get it. She's not exactly the nicest pet you'll ever meet. You've got that right. It kind of just makes me wonder, why does she feel the need to hurt other pets so bad? I'm guessing her home life is pretty rough. No, actually her home life is fine. She's just a little messed up. How do you know so much about her? Oh, um, she's my ex. 
Wow, and here I was thinking you were breaking stereotypes. Yeah, I, I know, but it, it was a while ago. So, what happened? Did she cheat on you? No, no, uh, nothing like that. Things just got really complicated and, well, we, we just ended it. It was for the best. Well, I'm surprised she didn't cheat on you. You know, she's not a totally bad pet. She does have some good aspects. She just doesn't show them very often. Sounds to me like you kind of miss her. Oh god, no. That ship sailed a really long time ago. Whatever you say. So what about you? Do you have a boyfriend back at your old school? No, I went to an all-girls private school, so I didn't exactly meet a lot of guys. So you've never been on a date before? What? No, I never said that. I've been on many dates. Okay, okay, I believe you. Good, because you should. I am very experienced in dating. Hey, um, can I get your number? Whoa, whoa, uh, in like a friend way or in like I like you kind of way? I guess you'll just have to give it to me and see. Creepy much, but okay. There, now you have my number. Cool, I'll, um, I'll text you later. I bet my mom's ready to go, so I should really get going. It was nice meeting you though, Elena. You too. Hmm, I wonder... Huh? I wonder if that's Coden. Oh, it is. Looks like I've got a date. That's kind of weird. Whatever, I don't even care. Hey, Elena. Oh, uh, Summer. Hey, are you still up for working on the project this weekend? Uh, yeah, totally. But, um, by chance, do, do you know who that guy Victoria was with? Um, yeah, I think that's one of the Nixon twins. Who? Chase and Coden Nixon. They're twin brothers. Oh, um, is there any way to tell them apart? Some people say that their eyes are slightly different, but personally, I rely mostly on wardrobe. What do you mean? Well, Coden usually wears a blue collar, and Chase usually wears a red collar. Oh, what are they like? Well, I haven't talked to them much myself, but I've heard that Chase is kind of a playboy jerk, and Coden is, well, more reserved. But didn't Coden, like, used to date Victoria? Oh, um, yeah, actually, how did you know that? Oh, um, I, I just- I just heard some girls gossiping about it. Um, so- so what happened? Well, no one really knows for sure, but the rumor is that Victoria went all psycho on him, so they broke up. Oh, jeez. Why are you so interested in him anyways? Well, he may or may not have asked me out. Wait, seriously? I'm so happy for you, Elena. Thanks, but I'm kind of worried. Why? I don't know. I guess I just don't really know Coden that well. He's a great guy from what I've heard. Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. I, I guess you're right. But, but what about you? What about your dating life? It's been pretty non-existent lately, I'm not gonna lie. Homework's been keeping me way too busy to really think about dating. Oh, that's too bad. And, um, can, can I take you up on that offer you made a while ago? Oh, yeah, sure. What is it? Can I, I um, sit with you at lunch? I, I understand if you don't have a room anymore or something like that. Girl, no. You are always welcome to sit with me and Peyton. Oh, uh, thanks. 
No problem, but the bell's about to ring, so I should really get going to class. See you at lunch, Elena. Bye, Summer. Guess what I heard? OMG, what? I heard that Victoria and Coden are getting back together. Wait, are you sure it wasn't Chase? Yeah, girl, she told me she said specifically that he had a blue collar. But like, are you really sure? I mean, I heard that their relationship ended awfully last time. That's what I thought too, but then Victoria reposted this picture on Instapaw of them. So, I mean, it has to be legit. There's no way they could be right, right?